Ooh! Mmm! Yep. <laughs> yep, that, that, get, that gets me hard. <laughs> Super Mario RPG 2 and Mother 3 are being requested by their creators. Some of the creators, not all the creators. Major people behind each franchise are saying, hey, I want this. Let's start out with Super Mario RPG 2. I haven't done a multiple news thing in a while, but these are two things that I wanted to talk about, and I didn't want to space it out, and I've done a lot of stuff today, so we're doing two in one for today's video. Super Mario RPG director wants to make Super Mario RPG 2. Oh my god. Seeing this, I was just like, oh, please. I have been wanting this forever. Obviously, Paper Mario is cool. Uh, Mario and Luigi are cool. I've played all of it. I but I mean Super Mario RPG just has just something about it It just has it. It's so just it's Square Enix Nintendo working together the music the characters the world Especially like every everything combined the combat. It's just so nice even going back now and playing it on a Super Nintendo You're just like this is fucking awesome and a Super Mario RPG 2 current graphics nintendo switch you know the the type of the, the size of the world we could get the characters we can get if if square enix and nintendo work together and really just say hey go get it baby that would be amazing we get malo back and we get gino back oh my god i would love it but anyways uh chihiro fujioka the director of super mario rpg has expressed interest in making super mario rpg 2 that would close out his career. He wants this to be his magnum opus, his coup de gras, I guess. I don't know what you would say. I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to these games, but... <laughs> Fujioka has worked on many different titles going back to the early 80s. That includes several entries in the Mario Luigi at Alpha Dream, a studio which he co-founded, which got shut down by Nintendo, though he left the studio in 2015 and it closed in 2019. There it goes after filing for bankruptcy. I guess the bankruptcy closed it, not Nintendo. I thought Nintendo closed it down, but they filed for bankruptcy. Nintendo could have saved him, but they said, we're good. You guys just go, just go away. As for interest in the developing Super Mario RPG 2, Fujioka's comment came out when asked about the subject in an interview with MinMax, which I don't know who that is. I think it's a YouTuber. I think I saw like a YouTube link for something like that. He shared the following with the outlet. So it's an outlet, not just YouTube, it's an outlet, like IGN maybe or something like that. Uh, yeah, I would absolutely love to make one. In my career, I've been involved with a lot of games and I would really like my final one to be another Mario RPG game if possible. I think Mario and Luigi is cool, but I'd like to go back and create a Mario RPG where you're only controlling Mario. Fujioka was also asked if he has any stories in mind for a new Mario RPG. He wouldn't share any specifics though, only stating that is a secret. So he has been thinking about this for a while. He's had some stuff cooking up in his brain. He goes, I got something you guys are going to love. Nintendo, please, for the love of God, let this man do his thing. All right. You said before that you took away the Paper Mario RPG mechanics because you had the Mario and Luigi series and you didn't want to have two Mario RPG series go coinciding with each other. But now you don't because Alpha Dream shut down. So there's no more Mario and Luigi. Paper Mario is now just an action adventure game. It's right here. Fulfill this man's dying wish. Obviously, he's not dying. She wanted to be dramatic. Fulfill his, his his wish of having his last game be a Mario RPG. The man who created the entire series, basically, of Mario RPGs, or the genre, I guess. It's not really a genre or a series. It's just a Mario RPGs. He's the first one, Super Mario RPG, and in my opinion, is the most fantastic one. I mean, Mario RPG is still super beloved to this day. Everybody and their grandma wants Geno and Smash, and that's for a reason, because Super Mario RPG is fucking awesome let him do it please nintendo i am begging you on my hands and knees and if you need me to i'm just saying mouth's open pop it in now moving on to mother 3 or earthbound 2 whatever they're gonna call it in america i don't know if we ever do get it someday which is <laughs> yet to be seen but one of the producers from mother 3 wants it to be seen as well after Earthbound Switch release, Mother 3's producer calls for the Japan-only sequel to be localized. When I first read it, I was like, Shigesato Itoi? If Shigesato Itoi said it, like, Nintendo would probably be like, Avi, let's do it. Shigesato, we love you. Let's do it. But uh, it's not Shigesato Itoi, as we'll get into here in a second. A key developer behind Nintendo's Japan-only Mother 3 has called for the company to release the game in the U.S. and Europe for the first time. Mother, or Earthbound, as it's known in the West, saw its third installment released on the Game Boy Advance in Japan over 15 years ago, but despite persistent requests from fan groups, it has never received an official English release. The Earthbound series received renewed attention this week after Nintendo announced during its latest direct live stream that both Earthbound and its predecessor, Earthbound Beginnings, aka Mother, would be added to the Switch Online SNES and NES apps, which was a banger of a, an announcement. Everyone was like, oh shit, bitch, we're getting Earthbound. And the way they were presenting it, it was like, oh no, we're, they're going to say Mother 3 any second now. They're like, well, you got Earthbound? <laughs> Uh-oh. Earthbound Beginnings? 
and that's it. And it was like, oh, what? Hold on. It was kind of a cock tease there, Nintendo. You know what you were doing. But with someone this big openly in the public saying, hey, we need to do this. Someone where there's a major player in Mother 3 saying, hey, Nintendo, can we please get the ball rolling and get this going? Uh, I think that might be a little more of a nudge to Nintendo instead of just the random basement dwellers like myself going, uh, we need Mother 3 now, Nintendo, or else we're going to play it pirated. And I mean, when you do release it, we're still going to buy it again anyways. And you know that, so it doesn't really matter either way. Kamioka reportedly said that much like fans, he'd love to see Mother 3 released in the US and Europe. He added, as a lover of games, I'll continue to wait for Mother 3's release worldwide in English. Uh, Mother was originally released on the Famicom in 1989, blah, 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 blah. We know the story of Mother, Earthbound, blah, 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 We want Mother 3. And there's a whole thing, like, a, I think a, a, they're afraid of, like, some of the aspects in the game didn't age well in today's modern society. I think there's, like, some trans... Uh, mermaids or something. I've never actually played Mother 3 because I've never felt like playing the the ROM or, or a bootlegged Game Boy Advance game, but I love Earthbound so much. As you know, I use music from Earthbound. Have been for years, different music. Absolutely love Earthbound. It's such a charming, fun little romp, uh, but what I've heard is Mother 3 is even better. I've heard people cry their eyes out over Mother 3, and I want to play Mother 3, and I would love to support Nintendo officially and support Mother 3 officially, the people that created it, this incredible game. I would love to support them, um, and hopefully Nintendo will allow me to do that it's a work of art and it deserves to it deserves to be properly experienced around the world with an official translation obviously the fan translation is fantastic i've heard great things and i probably will cave and play it because i do live stream a lot on twitch and that would be a fun one to play but god damn it nintendo you will make a lot of money and make a lot of people happy the internet will literally melt and break down if you say you know what <laughs> fuck it you're getting mother three finally baby please please nintendo my opinion doesn't matter, but this guy's does. Listen to him. Come on. The Beanie Boys are here. If you want to be a Beanie Boy, you can hit the join button down below. 99 cents a month. It helps me support the channel. Love it. Love the Beanie Boys. But I love you just for watching, commenting, subscribing, any of that. Even if you dislike, make fun of me, say I'm a silly little strange man. That's fine. Love you all. Have another channel, Bubby's World. I've been uploading a lot of stuff lately there. Also live streaming on Twitch like I talk about a lot. Twitch.tv slash Bubby Toad. And I have the VODs from Twitch as well on Bubby MLG. So lots of channels, lots of content. There you go across the board. And if you cruise. 69 a skateboarding channel too i mean there's so much stuff so much content go check it all out and i i think you'll like uh, every bit of it even if you don't skate you might still find it fun or humorous or whatever the case is anyways i'll see you guys in the next one uh, bye bye uh, uh.